And it turns out that actually the collecting duct is not the only place that's permeable to urea, but actually this part of the nephron that we haven't talked about much at all, this thin ascending limb of the loop of Henle also is permeable to urea. And so from the high concentration here in the medulla, urea is going to diffuse into the thin ascending limb of the loop of Henle. So now we've got urea here and it's going to continue along and make its way down and come back to the collecting duct and from here some of it might be reabsorbed again. So what do we have here is we have a kind of circular travel of the urea. And that is precisely what allows us to get such a high concentration of urea out here in the medulla. And to think of an analogy, imagine that you have a highway, let's say. And normally cars just drive down the highway and go wherever they're going and there's not too much traffic. But now let's say you add a loop to the highway like this. You add a little loop and now cars actually need to come and go around the loop and continue but they actually have to go around the loop a couple of times. So they'll go around maybe 10 times then they'll continue on their way. If you did this you would get a tremendous amount of traffic right here because you're making cars go around multiple, multiple times, and so it's as though there's a lot more cars here. Well, that's exactly what's happening with urea. Because of this circular travel here, it's able to build up its concentration very much in this area here. And this is all important because the high concentration here in the medulla allows you to have a high concentration here in the collecting duct. Because if you had a low concentration in the medulla, then everything from the collecting duct would diffuse out. But the high concentration in the medulla allows you to have a high concentration in the urine, which allows you to excrete a lot of urea. And that's critical because your body produces a lot of urea every day, and it's a lot of solute. And if you couldn't get such a high concentration of urea in the urine, then the only way to excrete enough urea per day would be to excrete a much larger volume of urine. And that means you would lose a lot more water. And water is scarce. You don't want to get rid of it. So it's really important to stress that point, that the high concentration of urea out here in the medulla is important mostly to allow you to excrete high concentrations of urea. It's not as important for dragging water out of the urine in order to concentrate the urine. How would you know that it's not as important? Well, because we're putting these urea channels in the collecting duct, and when you allow a solute to go through a membrane, it's no longer osmotically active. It's the sodium and the chloride. These are the main solutes that drag water out of the collecting duct.